Good evening, good evening, good evening. Byron Watson here, also known as Coach Life Pro. Hey guys, it's day 72 of this Take an Action video series and it's 21 days left to accomplish our 2013 goals. Hey, it's the Take an Action evening upload. Hey, what are you doing to accomplish your goals? Hey, maybe it's just writing the goals down and figuring out what's going on, right? It doesn't take that much effort, in my opinion, just to write some things down. If you are searching for that breakthrough and don't know how you're going to get there, what you're going to do, just by writing things down can put things in motion, right? I'm doing this so I can produce results so I get to see what's working well and what's not working well. And I wrote down um, that I was going to do video, I was going to do a 90-day uh, countdown in the fourth quarter, uh, 2013 fourth quarter, so I can really just com decide. I decided to do it, committed to do it, and I want to share um, how I succeed in doing this each and every day. Yeah, it's one take. I'm not trying to be be uber perfect with this. I want to do one take and just be done with it and share my 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 daily commitment to to this to this um, moment of succeeding. In the, present ten in the present tense. You know, um, it takes 21 days, psychologists say, to form a habit. Now, a lot of us, when we get to the beginning of the new year, we get all excited, say, well, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You know, we set goals, right? And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to challenge you to say, hey, write your goals down now. Think that you have 21 days to prepare for New Year's, okay? So the excitement can be here now, and then when New Year's get here, you get to ride that momentum into 2014 or the first quarter. What I think it's going to do is increase your chances of sticking with that goal that you've committed to. Okay? Because what ends up happening in the beginning, we get so excited. And in the middle, we get, oh my gosh, I get tired. I don't want to do this. Where am I gonna, how am I going to keep going? And then once we get to the end, right? Oh man, then it's another uh, set of uh, goals, a uh, set of hassles and different things because, you know, we kind of we kind of see the things in sight, but we may be getting tired, right? And so the thing is, we just want to produce some results right here, right now, so we can manage, so we can pr uh, put some uh, a game plan in place to overcome the challenge that's going to keep us from accomplishing those goals, and because. I tell my students this, that I'm preparing for the certification exams. You know, I ask some students, I say, what's, what's going on? How are things going? They say, well, coach, um, this is what I'm concerned about. And I say, well, that's great that you know where you're concerned about. Because guess what? If, you're dis if, you're, if you know that the things that they're preparing to trip you up, guess what? Don't you, wouldn't that cause you to walk a little bit more cautiously and pick your feet up a little bit higher so you don't trip? So, and that's the whole thing when we understand what, 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 what causes us some challenges so we get to plan our day to manage those challenges, okay? What if you're going to do something bodacious and you think that, I don't have the time in the day to do it? So, it depends. If it's a, if it's a big priority, huge priority, guess what you're going to do? You're going to make time for it. Like, hey, working out. I prefer to work out in the morning as opposed to later in the day. Studies show the people that work, that, that uh, begin a workout program that's, that's in the day, after they go to work, don't usually succeed at it. Okay? The numbers of succeeding go lower than the people that begin a workout uh, session in the morning before they begin the day. And I'm a firm believer in that. Get up in the morning. And start working out. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and share some goals that I'm working on with you. I've shared a few of them. I've shared them with you in the past, but here, these 21 days, I'm committed to completing, um, studying, and completing this math test that I need so I can finish my degree. Second thing, all right, I already have the book written. Okay, I just want to go ahead and format it a little different, put some, um, and um, set up the web-based part that's going to go along with it, okay, um, and write some instructions and some objectives and different things because it, it's gone from just a, a book into an instructional guide, right, and so that's where I am with that, so studying and finishing up the, uh, my preparing for my math test and taking it and passing it, and secondly is, is writing the objectives and, and um, the preface, the introduction, and objectives.